Hey everyone, quick back at Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about affinity chromatography. Affinity chromatography is a chromatography technique in which separation occurs based on the specific interaction between the two molecules. This specific interaction can be between enzyme and the substrate, receptor and the ligand, protein and the nucleic acid, etc. Let's see different components of the affinity chromatography. The affinity chromatography is usually carried out in column which is filled with the supporting material or the matrix. The matrix should have the following properties. It should be chemically inert, should exhibit good flow properties, should have sufficient functional groups for the covalent binding of the ligand. Different materials like agarose, polyacrylamyl, polystyrene, cellulose, silica, etc. can be used as a matrix. The matrix is attached with a spacer M which is usually made up of CH2 group. The presence of spacer prevents the non-specific interaction of the ligand with the matrix itself. Let's see the working of affinity chromatography. When the mixture of different molecules is passed through the affinity column, only the molecule that have specific affinity for the ligand binds the ligand. The other molecules are washed away. Next, to disassociate the molecule of interest from the ligand, a buffer with different ionic strength or pH is passed. This finally releases the molecule of interest from the ligand and the molecule is obtained in the pure form. The molecule of interest can also be detached from the ligand by using a competitive inhibitor. The competitive inhibitor can further be removed by dialysis or by changing the pH or the ionic strength. Let's see different examples of ligand and the molecule of interest that can be purified with affinity chromatography. AMP can be used for the purification of NAD-dependent dehydrogenase and some kinases. ADP can be used for the purification of NADP-dependent dehydrogenases. Calmodulin for the purification of calmodulin binding enzymes. Evidin can be used for the purification of biotin containing enzymes. Metals such as nickel can be used for the purification of proteins that have a histidine tag. Lysine can be used for the purification of rRNA.